Hello, everybody. It has been 172 days and 21 and a half hours since I uploaded my last video. Before that, it was 295 days before that video. That was parts one and two of the exploring the woods with my friend Wendell and finding that cursed bicycle. A lot has happened since then. Uh, I'm just making a quick video to review this Holtzman's Ultimate Survival Gear knife, bushcraft knife here. And um, I got this knife because I watched a review, uh, this YouTube channel, small YouTube channel, but he makes great content. It's called JB Outdoors and More, exclamation mark. And he makes great videos about all sorts of different uh, outdoor gear. He reviews it, and he highly recommended this. It's 30 bucks. So it was like $29.95, something like that, on Amazon. And it's pretty high quality from the looks of it. So I decided to get one. And I'm going to unbox it and check it out. So this is just going to be one take because I don't have time for a very long video. Let's uh, open this up. Very nice packaging. And there we go. Got the little gel silica packets. I'll save those to put in my uh, 3D printer filament box so that the uh, filament stays dried out. Here we got the sheath, which is uh, very nice, actually. And looks like there's even a, a sharpening file on the bottom here, which I didn't know it had that. I guess I wasn't paying close enough attention. Uh, and then, of course, you got a fair serum rod right here, which slides right in on the side. And then this shock cord can actually go around the bottom to hold it in, so there it won't accidentally slide out if this loosens up over time. Very nice handle with the orange liner. Same thing on the knife here. Pretty small fixed blade knife, but it's got good weight to it. It's definitely high quality. Nice thick spine. Again, with the orange. And uh, very, very nice feeling knife. Let's see how it fits in my uh, sheath here. Very, very solid detention on that. I cannot get this to come out. <sighs> yep. I'd say that's going to stay in there. Because that is always my worry with neck knives. Uh, is that the knife is going to fall out and stab me. If I lay down on the ground or something. But this is very, very secure. Like, I cannot get that to come out. Pretty uh, strong string. It does not appear to be paracord. But uh, I'll probably replace it with some of the... Um, fire cord that I've got, or the uh, survival paracord, which has um, the six strand paracord, uh, and then it's also got the uh, waxed jute twine for fire starting, um, fishing line, and snare wire. So I'll probably replace it with that at some point if it ever breaks, but for now, it's very secure. And then, get this right on the side. It's not going anywhere. Wear it around the neck, and then obviously a sharpener. Right here. And it's made out of D2 steel. I should have mentioned that earlier. But uh, pretty high quality, considering it's only 30 bucks. You can see they got the Holtzman Gorilla Survival Gear logo right there. And you can tell, you can barely see the grain of the metal like if you look closely with your naked eye you can see the grain but you know if you get a cheap knife the grain is very very obvious and considering the quality of this i am actually shocked at how uh, unnoticeable the grain of the steel is and uh just nice in general so i'm looking very forward to adding this to my everyday carry I need to make another uh, everyday carry video. Did I ever make one in the first place? Maybe I didn't upload it, but uh, I need to make it a video of my everyday carry gear because 
I, I, it's changed a lot. So obviously I've got this knife here, which I love. I just wish it was not Tanto, but anyways. Um, oh, look at this. Does that even come with the wrench? It does. Oh, okay. So this is a, looks like an Allen wrench, but it's got a Phillips head on this side. And my guess is that's for there. Yeah. It's for uh, taking off the ferrocerium rod if you don't want it there. So, I'm going to keep that on though. Because what I'll probably do is, currently, I have this around my neck. And this is from UST, which is like the Walmart brand. And of course, this is a ferrocerium rod and striker. And a very, very, very loud whistle. I think this is like 112 decibels or something. Not extremely loud, but for something this small, waterproof, floats, keep it around my neck. So, there you go. Very nice knife at a very nice price. I'll put a link to it below. I'll also put a link to uh, JB Outdoors' channel because he's some great content there. He makes pretty consistent videos and uh, definitely reviews good products at, on a budget price point as well. So, thank you for watching and... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I also gained 4 subscribers in the last 28 days, even though I haven't uploaded in almost a year, so that's kind of, well, like half a year, that's crazy. Oh, I just noticed, there's even a hole, you can see that, there's even a hole for water to get out. If you have anything, the knife's wet when you put it away, so it can drip down and come out, that's very thoughtful design. Yeah, definitely gonna like this, gonna everyday carry it. Might take off the ferrocerium rod if I end up carrying this along with it because this I mean if I'm gonna be wearing it like this hanging down that's gonna poke me a little bit so might end up taking that off and I might put tape or something over the uh, file here the sharpener because that seems like that's gonna be a little uncomfortable but we'll see we'll see how it goes uh, so yeah thank you for watching and well check out the links below just gonna drop everything, yeah.